Where does one begin to try to explain the guy who many of you see every year at this event as your master of ceremonies, trying desperately to keep everything running smoothly? There is so much more to Teddy Allen than a folksy, everyman style that you don't see the rest of the year. But if you've been a reader of his around the state, you know that no sports subject is off limits, most times with a special Allen twist that brings a smile, a laugh, or sometimes even tears. One of the things they teach you in journalism is that it helps to write like you talk. And you listen to Teddy and you read Teddy and you go, well, that's almost exactly the way he talks. He doesn't try to overwrite. That's one of the terms that people use a lot of times is that, you know, uh, I'm going to really just show everybody what magnificent prose I have, you know, and I'm going to develop this and everybody's going to love. Teddy just opens it up, starts typing. Here it is. He writes like he talks. And, and that sounds simple, but Believe me, a lot of people don't do that, both in sports and outside of sports. Since the mid-1980s, he's piled up LSWA awards for papers like the Shreveport Journal, the Times, and the Times-Picayune. There, he first covered LSU and then began to step into a primary role as the paper's columnist. He returned to the Times as a featured columnist for Gannett's North Louisiana Papers for almost three decades. So most everybody knows that Teddy nicknamed Carl Malone the mailman back when they were in Louisiana Tech but he also has a knack for nicknaming other people in his life, all his friends. In fact, tonight, tonight here, we have Hooks and Chief and Rams. <laughs> but did you know that Teddy has a nickname of his own? And it was given to him by people who think they know his name, but really don't. I can't tell you the numbers of times that people have come up to him and said, Terry, Terry Allen. So he now, even with his friends, has embraced the name and goes by the nickname of Terry. In 2008, he joined his alma mater, Louisiana Tech, as a writer and editor in the university's communications department. And he has joined the Tech Sports Network as a football color analyst, host of coaches shows, and recently trying his hand at baseball play-by-play. -play. He is now the co-founder of an online publication called designatedwriters.com. Teddy has just uh, become one of our university's greatest ambassadors. He is a incredibly gifted writer. I think one of the great sports writers um, in Louisiana. Uh, he's also just such a talented speaker, a tremendous broadcaster. I mean, he, he's just enormously talented. And, and most of all, he is a um, faithful man of God. Um, you just can't say enough about uh, Teddy Allen, not just what he's meant to Louisiana Tech, but what he's meant to the state of Louisiana. Among his many honors include the AP Sports Editor's National Feature Writing Award and the LSWA Story, Columnist, and Sports Writer of the Year Awards. I think one of the first paid gigs you ever had was driving my car from Ruston to Baltimore when I was playing for the Baltimore Colts and I didn't have time to drive my car and get ready for training camp and my wife had three or four children trying to get them and so she flew, you drove the car. Thank you very much for back then if I didn't thank you then. But it's, it, it's been a lot of fun knowing you over the years. I've especially enjoyed your writings. I've enjoyed your books. I've enjoyed your coloring commentary as a matter of fact. But what I enjoy most about you, Teddy Allen, is the way in your writings that you bring people to life. We've got to get him back to the microphone shortly for the rest of tonight's ceremony. But first, we need to give this multifaceted journalist the credit he so deserves. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's second Distinguished Service Award winner in sports journalism and Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, Teddy Allen.